Okay, so we are today going to look at a lovely product called Anything LLM. And we're also going to see another um, lovely product called LM Studio. And these are, of course, large language model related tools. And we are going to be able to chat with our own documents. So L Anything LLM is available at useanything.com and the, uh, the tool is open source. You can visit them on GitHub and, you know, make a pull request, make a, um, an, an issue, a bug report. You can chat in a Discord with them. There's a great YouTube channel, which I will link in the description. And it's free. It's a free tool. They just ask that you send, you allow um, metrics to be sent back, but you can even turn that off. You can download it for Windows. You can download it for uh, Linux, Mac. You can even run it in Docker. And it's really very cool um, to use. So that's what we're going to do today. LM Studio is another tool that you can use. And forgive me because I'm using only one monitor today. So I'll be doing a little bit of switching back and forth. But LM Studio is another free tool. They have a Discord channel where you can chat. You can search for common issues. They have a GitHub, um, and they also have the ability to download and install lots of different models and run open source models on your machine. The beauty of these tools is that you can run things locally on your machine and not have to send your precious documents to OpenAI or any of the other closed source or commercialized models that are out there. Shout out to Brooklyn, New York. So they do have some specifications for what type of machine you want to be running. I am running it on a 2060 RTX and it works pretty well with both of them. My machine does get a little warm so we'll talk a little bit more about that. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the transcript from one of my YouTube videos to uh, ask some very specific questions about the video. For example, like what company was mentioned in the video and um, you know which states were mentioned in the video, <laughs> which suggestions for follow-up were given, that sort of thing. So we'll see how it goes. I have not tested this yet. We're just going to gonna do it on the fly here. So first, let me switch over to our actual um, LM Studio and get our local server running. So when you are looking at LM Studio, the first thing you'll notice is um, you can search for models. So you'll want to either look on Hugging Face or just start typing if you are familiar with any um, large language models that you've heard of. You know, very common ones by Meta is the Llama series. Um, there's a Stability AI, um, Stable Instruct series. There's Microsoft ones. Well, there's a lot of different ones. Mistral is very um, um, famous. Pop when for coding, Microsoft Phi is the one I'm going to be using, no particular reason why. So you want to go over to your left side panel and click local server. And when you click local server, you can pick which models you want to select to load your model. I'm going to go with Microsoft Phi. And you'll notice there's lots of different ones you could choose from. I pick this, uh, um, mini 4K, it's Q4K, it's like um, how much quantization or compression of the model there has been. When you're using anything LLM, you probably want to use something that is not so compressed, but because of the constraints of my machine, 
that's what I'm going to be using. And we'll just see how it works. You also want your embedding model to be loaded. And um, you can actually click this learn more about embedding to read in depth articles on what exactly it is. But basically it's how your text gets turned into numbers. So we see now our server is actually running and there is a port 1234 that it's running on by default. You'll see this slash v1 is there that's needed to be used in, in uh, anything LLM. So now we're going to open anything LLM and because I've already done this before I believe that my settings are already um, already set. So let's see here. If I switch over to anything LLM for you, I believe the if I go and create a new workspace, I'll call it Chat with Docs. Chat with my docs save that. It says welcome to your new workspace. I'm going to see if this is actually working. Hello bot. Let's see if I get a response here. How can I assist you today? Okay, now let me just say, just to establish, let me stop it from talking, just to establish that it, it knows nothing about um, what we've, we've been discussing. Um, based on the documents in your context, what company was the job being applied to in the video <laughs> transcript? This is kind of a very, very specific question. <laughs> so, and then see, it says, I'm sorry, but as an AI, don't have direct access to video transcripts. So we're going to see if we can change this and let me stop it from generating by adding some documents to this. And now if we just look at some settings here, um, chat settings, it's using the default LLM and it has some prompt uh, defaults here, right? It also has a default temperatures. Um, the agent configuration, I won't really look in the database, but um, it's using, um, it should be using the model that I loaded in LM Studio, but it actually looks like Says, please make a selection. Agents will not work until the selection is made. I already selected um, the LM Studio one with some test workspaces that I had before. So I wonder why this, if this is a bug, um, because I believe it's using the model that I set the Phi Instruct Microsoft one. In any case, now we're going to bring in some documents. So I already selected here um, in my, uh, my, in my Windows directory, this location and this file. So I'm going to click move to workspace and save and embed. Now it's going to turn it into numbers and vectorize it. So it says it's been updated successfully. So now I'm going to exit this and I'm going to return to the chat. Here we go, return to the chat. And I'm going to ask the question again and see if it can get it. Moment of truth, huh? Let's see. Given the context provided, there isn't a direct mention of a specific company. Hmm. It appears the discussion revolves around YouTube marketing strategy and industry analysis for career changes in software development. Hey, excellent. So it, it definitely did. Um, let me ask it. So it's getting, it's definitely ingested the contact, the document. Let me ask it. Um, was bit.ly mentioned? <laughs> Maybe it will, uh, was no mention of a company named bit.ly. Okay, well, this is some of the tweaking that you'll be needing to do. But basically, I've 
you know, just shared how um, how this tool can be a, a game changer and you can with some subsequent tweaking from this super quick uh, you know just less than 10 minute setup you can um, add your own documents privately in your own private server to the context of uh, an AI chat or an LLM chat so super huge you can imagine for this you know hey how much did I pay in taxes last year just direct it to your your financial document directory in your in your personal computer with no information being sent over the air um, over the internet and um, you know, talking to your own code asking it about your own um, and other internal documents family documents medical documents so I hope that helped hope that gave you something that you want to try on your own machine and please don't forget to like and subscribe Take care. See you in the next one.